Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be uh, wiring up some small bilge pumps. You can see I ordered some off Amazon, 1100 gallons per hour. They're little tiny pumps, so I was expecting them to be a bit bigger. But basically I'm going to show you guys how to wire one and what I'm going to do for, um, they're really easy to wire, but what I'm going to do as well for the Argo. So I have no idea if this girl is going to be a floater. We will be trying it out on a future video. But I want these for emergency purposes. So basically, I'm putting one down here in the front, and there's going to be one in the back. So, um, yeah, guys, let's go ahead now, and let's do it. It's not much to run these, so I'll show you the circuit. And uh, I'm going to put put these on toggle switches is my goal. Bought these little marine-grade on-off ones. So I'll show you the circuit, and then we'll get the wiring. So it comes with pretty good instructions. Um, this is the circuit. I'm going to put it on because I literally just want to flip a switch and turn them on for emergency only. And other than the other way you can actually toggle them is the automatic switch. And you can even have them on like a float switch, basically, if uh, the level inside the machine gets to a certain point or a certain level, it'll flick on. But I'm going with the nice easy way. So all you can see or right here, we have a positive, which goes to a fuse. We have our switch and then the positive runs down to the pump. The pump needs a ground, of course and the battery has to be grounded so essentially i'm just going to run them i was thinking and there's a bit of debate on doing this as well like with regards to running a relay um in a situation like this you don't want to run a relay for one less component or one extra component that can potentially fail and i looked it up the, the current draw apparently on the, those pumps are like three amps so it's virtually nothing it'll basically be like running a small set of led lights maybe a little maybe two led lights or something so they're going right off the battery and they're not going to be used much and yeah let's do it okay guys so we are continuing on with the project so um i'll just show you i had to take a few minutes and tidy up all the wiring down here it was worse looking than this and i had like a blue wire and an orange wire and like a brown wire ran it was getting a little confusing so I got it somewhat tidied up. Um, if you look down here in the back corner, you can see I have a fused, inline fused um, line coming off the positive, and it's just terminated right here that I chopped off. I'm actually gonna extend this, and I'm gonna run my toggle switches. They're gonna be right here, pump one, pump two, and then eventually I'll have a nice little drink holder here. It'll be kind of cool. But um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So. I'm going to find some way to prop you guys up and we're going to put another positive lead. So basically I have my switched powers coming into the actual switches themselves. And then there's going to be a line coming out from the switches, which is going to run to the pump. Okay, that was pretty easy. We got the two switches over there. I just used the factory holes that were not factory holes, whatever someone had pre-drilled that made them bigger. Stuck in my switches. So now I'm going to go ahead and run the other positive lead with the inline fuse. Okay, so I managed just to get the one soldering, some little soldering iron. I uh, always solder it. I put a piece of electric tape around it and then I tend to heat shrink is what I've always been doing. And I find it's been working. So I'm gonna go ahead now, get my little heat shrink, shrink on, which is over on the floor. And uh, we'll get that up uh, all nice and shrunk. Okay guys, so I just got the first one wired in. It's a big mess of wires, so that's going to get um, all tidied up. But let's uh, let's have a quick test anyways. So literally, it's just first one's wired. I'll show you how it's wired, and then I'm going to do the back one. And then figure out exactly where I want to mount them. But let's see here now. Let's try it out very quick. Nothing. Okay, guys, so I'm still here working on this. I uh, flipped the switch. <laughs> had no power, so I decided to just haul everything apart and just do it properly and take my time. And I'm kind of having a bit of a slow day, you know, when you have those off days. This is me today. But anyways, I ran two new uh, inline fuses. You can see down right here. And I got uh, the wires ran over. This is uh, two wires, one for each switch. I got the things on right here. And now coming out, I got my two, two wires. I got to connect the blue to ground. And then this one is going to get fed back here and be the rear bilge pump. Hey guys, so it's next day out in the shed. I'm just uh, tidying up here. So 
This is where my front sump pump is going to go, or a bilge pump, whatever you want to call it, is down right here underneath the fuel tank. It's going to be tucked away. The rear one, I just got it right here. I might change like a, how it sits, but for now, it is working out pretty cool. You can see my switches up front there. Here's the rear one. And I'm just uh, getting ready to fix up the front pump, like the wiring. And this is what I'm looking like underneath the hood. So not too bad, a little messy, but I got it done as best I can. Well, with, with as much patience that I can. And it is coming alive. I just picked up some new drain plugs as well. So I'm hoping today or tomorrow to be able to test her out. So last day I was actually fighting with the drain plugs. Um, these Argos, they have two that's back here. Um, the ones that came with the machine, I think they were like just extremely tough or whatever reason i could not get the drain plugs in it was causing me a huge issue i don't want a big mess in the background but bought two brand new ones tightened them up adjusted them and popped them in place no problem but yeah okay guys i'm gonna get this last one in place here i don't want to do too much uh, without showing you guys i'm kind of skipping a few steps but i'll do an overview with the, at the end as well and uh, we'll turn the pumps on Okay guys, so we're basically done anyways. Um, I gotta run out to the hardware store and replace my vent that runs down here from the fan. So you can see mine's all busted up. I'm gonna see if I can get something similar. It's almost like a dryer vent. But anyways, uh, this is how I got this ran temporarily. Eventually, I'm gonna be making a enclosure, like with a little, uh, like a safari top on top of the Argo. So, they'll actually kind of be like built into it or I'll have a little bracket to hold my bilge pumps. But for the time being and for testing purposes, this is what I have. <laughs> it's just hung over the side. When it puts the enclosure back on, it's gonna look a bit better. But I am mainly always concerned with safety. So if these are gonna work and they're gonna be reliable, in case I take on water rather than lose the machine and potentially lose myself, hopefully we'll stay afloat. So. Here are the two switches. I'll try pump one. Pump two. Here you go. And I got them right off the battery. Inline fuses. Didn't want to use a relay just because it's one extra thing that can break. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this little video of just wiring up some sump pumps or some bilge pumps. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll just do a quick recap. And thanks for ch checking out the channel anyways. I can't wait to uh, get this floating now, hopefully tomorrow. So for the recap, if you wanted to go over, I had the instructions here, maybe it's on the other one, one second. Okay, I got the other one here. So for the recap, we got battery, inline fuse, up to the switch, out of the switch goes power to the pump, and then the pump goes back to ground. So my grounds, I have three individual grounds right here. Um, I wanted to put them on their own ground, just as extra redundancy. Uh, my inline switches, you can see them down there. That's the yellows with the inline fuses. They goes up, gets spliced in, and then comes over to my switches. And then other than that, I got my ground ran back, which you can see. Extremely simple, eh? All right, guys, enough for this video. Thanks a lot, and thanks for coming to the channel. See you again soon.